There's a new comic book miniseries out now featuring the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Usagi Yojimbo. It's called Where When, and it's five issues long. This video is going to contain a pretty much spoiler-free review of the comic, but first we're going to get into the history and relationship between the Samurai Rabbit and the Ninja Turtles. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my Ninja Turtles channel for more Ninja Turtles videos like this. The Turtles and Usagi Ojimbo of Samurai Rabbit have had several comic book crossovers in the past, going all the way back to the 1980s, and it's great to see another team up. The Turtles and Usagi were both first published in 1984, and the co-creators of the Turtles, Peter Laird and Kevin Eastman, became friends with Stan Sakai, creator of Usagi Ojimbo. I didn't read any previews for the Werewind comics or even a plot summary, so I went in completely unaware of what to expect. But I knew to expect high quality, because Stan Sakai has a terrific reputation. Stan Sakai is unbelievably great. His art and storytelling and even his lettering are top-notch. I would say Stan Sakai is underappreciated, but everyone thinks he's great. I think the reason you don't hear more about Stan Sakai and Usagi Ojimbo is that everyone expects top-notch comics, and he delivers. There's nothing to say. Everyone thinks he's talented because he is. He's been consistent for decades. Usagi Ojimbo and the Ninja Turtles were both first published in 1984, but Usagi Ojimbo has never been rebooted as far as I know. Stan Sakai still has complete and sole ownership over Usagi Ojimbo as well. It's interesting to look at the two different paths the two comic creations have taken over the previous 40 years. In addition to a bunch of comic book crossovers, Usagi Ojimbo appeared in the 1987 cartoon show, the 2003 Ninja Turtles cartoon show, and the 2012 Turtles show and there have been a bunch of Usagi Ojimbo Turtles toys over the decades. Even though Usagi Ojimbo is completely separate from the Turtles, in a weird way, the Rabbit Samurai is kind of an honorary character in the Turtles universe. I think lots of people know Usagi because of the Turtles. The Usagi Ojimbo comics were even published by Mirage Studios for a while. Now it's time to get into the new comic, Where When, featuring Usagi Ojimbo and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Where When comic isn't too dense or too sparse. The pacing is great, the dialogue flows smoothly, and there's something intelligent about the whole presentation. The Usagi Turtles comic transcends a lot of genres, too. There's robots and action and fantasy and samurai rabbits, and even though it's really far out, it's all kind of grounded and realistic and relatable in a weird way, too. The art is great throughout, but it seems to be more detailed on the fight scene pages. Usagi Ojimbo is pretty brutal. One thing I love from Stan Sakai is how he shows that a character has died. He uses a speech bubble with a skull in it. It's like a character's soul leaving its body in its final breath. How gnarly is that? The Ninja Turtles don't even appear in the first 12 pages of the comic, but it's so captivating and well-written that you don't really notice. When they finally do appear, it's awesome. My enjoyment reading the comic increased exponentially. I think the overall summary of the story is Usagi Ojimbo and the Ninja Turtles will team up to fight Dr. Werewen, an evil time-traveling robot. I think the only complaint I had is there are three rabbit characters, and I had a little trouble telling them apart at first. They had names I wasn't familiar with, and they had a similar look, so it was a little bit tricky. I guess this is how people who don't know the Ninja Turtles that well probably feel. It's probably confusing to tell the Turtles apart with their weapons and personalities and bandana colors. I highly recommend the Werewind crossover comics between Usagi Ojimbo and the Ninja Turtles to anybody. I also suggest reading any other Usagi Ojimbo Ninja Turtles crossovers as well. There was a collection released a while back, or you can find single issues of older comics. I also recommend checking out your local library. Most libraries have physical and digital comic collections, and you might be surprised surprised by what they have available. Lots of libraries even have apps now where you can access tons of comics legally for free. Hats off to Stan Sakai for another wonderful crossover comic book between Usagi Ojimbo and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and share this video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Ninja Turtles videos like this.